What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing our loan reports. This is going to be split into four parts. This is part one looking at just some, uh, because there's, there's lots of players from here, there and everywhere at Manchester City that's been loaned out. So it's just looking at uh, some of the players that's been loaned out. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at a few players. Before we crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content and you want to help support my channel, that would be much appreciated. Then make sure you subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on don't forget also go and check out my social media links if you so wish you can find them in description below and popping up on screen for my twitter and instagram you can also find my email in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries leave your thoughts in the comments below because that really helps me out and also slap a like on the video if you do enjoy this video because that also helps me out too so we're going to crack on with this video and we're first going to be speaking about a manchester city goalkeeper Aro Muric. He's playing for Nottingham Forest currently. He's from Kosovo. He's currently made a whopping four starts for Nottingham Forest in the Championship and during his four starts has conceded four goals, keeping one clean sheet along the way, which uh, if you went carried on at that ratio throughout all the season actually, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, he did start the first few games for Nottingham Forest but he made a couple of errors and because of these couple of errors he was dropped. This was in favour of Bryce Samba instead. He's kept his position as goalkeeper ever since since and Aro Muric has ended up just slipping down the pecking order at Nottingham Forest uh, and initially I thought this was a really good move for Aro Muric but this just goes to show what happens when you loan players out and the loan isn't right for the player so during all of my loan players I'm going to look at during all of the loan reports I'm going to be looking at player development and seeing how the player is developing and Honestly, Aro Muric developed a lot more last season staying at Manchester City than he has out on loan, which is why Pep, when players get towards the City first team squad, he is quite reluctant to loan players out, and this is why, because if something doesn't go right, I mean, how can you judge a player four starts? Four starts, and all of a sudden now, he's considered not good enough for Nottingham Forest, and that now, that mentally, that, sat, that mentally, it plays a part now on Aro Muric, and it's all, lots of questions now, you're talking, what's going to happen to him next season? Is he going to be sold? Is he going to have to go and venture elsewhere? Is he going to have another loan? Is he going to be third choice at Manchester City? Is he going to be sent to the EDS for confidence? Um, we're left picking up the people pieces here it's been a bad move a low move that i thought was good has ended up turning out bad and that's just i'm gutted i'm absolutely gutted for our own merch because i think he's a top quality goalkeeper and it's very important that when City send players out on loan that them moves are right for the player development and uh, originally I did think that Aro Muric was going to be a great move down to the championship but it's turned out uh, not to be so what next love to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. Now we're going to speak about Joel um, Latibodia, I hope that's how you say his name, but he's a centre-back for Manchester City, currently out on loan at FC20 over in the Eredivisie in the Netherlands. He's from England, he's made five appearances this season in the Eredivisie, has one goal and one assist for a defender. That's pretty excellent, five starts, one goal, one assist for a defender. That's not bad at all. Uh, he's a bench player, though, basically. He's a squad-rotated player. It's not an ideal development, uh, for ideal for a, a development point of view, sorry, um, that we're wanting him to play as many games as possible, wanting to accumulate as many minutes as possible for him to be able to, well, develop properly. And so five starts in a season when there's no tr um, injury track record there, uh, it's quite concerning. It does, again, just like Aro Muric called into question, that I just do not feel that this loan that we've made has been a good one. Of course, we did have Matt Smith. He had an excellent loan move to the Eredivisie, and he performed fantastic for FC Twente last season. Hasn't been for Joel Latibodia this season, um, but it's a learning curve. It's one of those. Aro Muric, even though it's gutting, it's a learning curve. He'll learn from it. He'll get better. Because of it, we've just wasted a year potentially two years with how long it'll take to pick up the pieces of how a hey, loan move that isn't working out. It's how long it takes. It does. It needs another loan move or it might be sold or it might be left at City instead to try and develop um, even further. And so uh, big decisions to be made over the future of Aro Muric and also Latibodia too. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens there. Now the next player we're going to speak about is Ante Palaversa, a defensive midfielder. Plays for K uh, KV Oostend over in Belgium. He is from Croatia. He started 19 games this season, getting no assists, no goals. 
defensive midfielder, a couple of yellow cards too. Started 66% of the games this season in Belgium. He was injured from the end of August until the middle of November, so that affects the stats. So basically he is seen as a first team player. He seems to be progressing well and doing okay. So I'm just wondering what's next for the Croatian prospect. I'd personally like to see him tested over in England, even if that means him just dropping down a league and potentially seeing how he develops from there. So I'm talking about him dropping into the EFL and seeing how he performs maybe in the championship. A, a, a bottom end championship team would be a good test. If he's not going to get minutes there, then maybe have a look at the top end of League One. There isn't too much. There there's a gulf. There's not a big gulf difference between the top end of League One and the lower end of the Championship. There is a difference, but not too much, and I feel like um, a, a move to a top end League One, even though it doesn't sound ideal, considering he's playing in um, a top league in Belgium, but it's just allows it for him to develop and get him used to English football and see where he develops from there. And there is a lot of top quality teams down in the bottom end of the Championship and the top end of League One. These are hard fought, nitty gritty loans where if you're going to get minutes, you're going to learn a lot. And speaking of a player that can do that, Toshin Adara Bayoyo, defensive centre-back for Manchester City. Blackburn Rovers is where he went and did his loan, of course, from England, making 27 appearances this season, scoring two goals, one assist. Started 70% of games for Blackburn Rovers. Got off to a slow start, making a couple of bench appearances, but as the season has developed and gone on, He's developed and gone on and he's ended up securing himself now as one of Blackburn's main defensive centre-backs. And so, yeah, the rise of Toshin Adara Bayoyo. I've been keeping an eye on his loan and it's been an excellent loan move. And this just shows us there's a golfing difference from what's happened to um, Aro Muric on his loan in the Championship at Nottingham Forest. And Adara Bayoyo that's gone out on loan in the Championship too to Blackburn Rovers. It's just, it shows what starts and playing can do. Because these players at City have got in their academy and here, there and everywhere. These are top quality young players. They just need minutes. Honestly, they do. They're going to be top class players. Mark my words. But Toshi Nadara Bayoyo is now an important player in that Blackburn team. He's flourishing. There's calls to bring him back to Manchester City. There's talk that if City aren't going to sign a centre-back this summer, or we, even if we only sign one, bring Adara Bayoyo back. He's a homegrown player. Give him a chance. See what he can do. Because he's had that much of an impressive loan this season at uh, Blackburn Rovers. Now, to me, uh, well done. Tosh and Adara Bayoyo. I would say well done to Tosin because I think he's had a fantastic loan move. Uh, I'm just wondering what the future is going to hold for him because if we're going to loan him out again I feel like it's important that we now progress his loan because he went to was it West Brom the season before he went to Blackburn didn't manage to prove himself and so if he goes back to Blackburn because he's feeling settled I would like to see that be a permanent move rather than um, a, a loan move and value I mean I, I wrote up some figures I was like mm, maybe five ten million pounds a homegrown player doing really well I'd look for five to ten million pound uh, but if he wanted to go to Blackburn maybe City uh, they could have a buyback clause or some kind of sell-on fee added on and maybe bring that price down to appeal if that if you really did want to go to Blackburn be able to make weight that way because uh, yeah we, we had the wrong low move with him to go to West Brom he's had the right move to go to Blackburn Rovers what next a city gonna try and utilize him at our academy we're gonna see what he can do in and around the first team see how he develops and then assess again a season after and I personally would like to see something like that but if that gets in the way of city being able to bring in top class center backs I'd rather we brought in top class center backs and uh, Tosin Nadara Bioyo then uh, if his future is not at Manchester City which I hope it is but if if it's not at Manchester City, then he can obviously be able to progress his career and show that he can get right to the very top like I'm sure he is capable of. He's got ambitions. He said in five years' time he wants to be not just playing for Manchester City, he wants to captain Manchester City. He has got a brilliant attitude. He's a lovely lad. I wish him all the best and I'm hoping City can find a way uh, with his excellent low move that he's had to be able to find the right move here for him to go and flourish once more. Now another player that City have loaned is Rayato Machino. He's an attacking midfielder currently playing for Hearts. He's Japanese, 19 uh, appearances made for Hearts this season, getting three goals and one assist. He's a rotated player, he comes off the bench a lot so hence his stats are down a bit but he'll be learning which is good. 10 of his 19 appearances that he's made for Hearts have come from from the bench so it's hard to judge how much he is progressing but he is getting minutes which is good uh, I do feel like if City want to be able to progress 
further me uh, machino, then I, I reckon a move abroad might suit better here. Um, it's one of those where he'll be able to adapt his game and see how he works from there. Um, where, I do not know. I imagine that CD City, we've got a very good feeder network in there that I'm sure we could be able to get him some minutes. I mean, obviously the uh, loans with NAC Breda seems to be long into the past, which in my opinion is good. We've still got good working relations though with clubs like Girona. We've got various clubs in and around the City Football Group that, that I'm sure we could find the right move for Machino to be able to progress him because he seems to be doing okay at Hearts, but with, with Manchester City, we're aiming for the top end. We want better than okay, so we want to see how he gets along. Uh, if he ends up coming to England, maybe dropping down the leagues, get him into League One or something like that, see how he performs from there. And just because I say dropping down the leagues doesn't mean it's going to be an unsuccessful move. It's all about development. David Beckham, he dropped down the leagues, did half a season nearly, uh, where he competed down in the lower leagues. He was deemed good enough then for Manchester United, and because he ended up bossing it down in the lower leagues, he never looked back on his future and look what happened there. I and mean, seeing that if City can get these low moves right for these young players, like Machino, like Adara Bayoyo, like Muric in the future too, we can see where we can head from there. So there we go. That has been my Manchester City loan report one for the 2019-2020 season. We've still got report number two, three and four coming up. These are going to be daily uploads going through them videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm aiming for 6,000 subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated too. Don't forget also you can find my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen too. If you want to go and follow me on social media, don't forget also my email in the description below with my um where you can hit me up for any sponsors for any videos or any general business inquiries and then don't forget also leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below we've obviously got no football going on at this moment in time but i'm hoping to be able to develop and get some um, video ideas from people that have been people have been leaving in the comments i'm hoping to get through them in the coming weeks and get more content out there for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that and i'll see you all again for the next video so i've been jsgc i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day Peace. Ciao for now.